season? It was a great experience. Um, I think the biggest thing is, is playing on a neutral court, um, basically in a ballroom of, of a hotel, uh, presents challenges. Um, it's an uncomfortable atmosphere at first when you get there. Um, so I thought we battled and we made plays when we needed to and stuff like that. Now it wasn't perfect, obviously, but I don't think you expect to do this early in the season. That's where you go, why you go to these kind of tournaments. You learn from them um, and you get back to the drawing board and get to work. But I thought it was a good experience for us as a whole. Um, good thing we came out of there with two Ws. We found, we found a way to win both games, and now it's, you know, it's time to move on to Chicago State. Talk about how you guys had some adversity in the Illinois State game. 17-3 to run to start that second yeah. half. You guys found yourselves down by seven. Talk about how you guys were able to respond well to that. Uh, I thought we just kept our composure. Um, you know, it's a game of runs. It's, it's a 40-minute game. It's, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And we, we, we hung tough and we stayed together. I thought the coaching staff did a really nice job of the timeouts, stressing that, you know, it's a long game. There's a lot of time left. You know, chip away. We're not going to get all back at once. Um, but that first five-minute stretch in the second half, I think both times, the Richmond game and the Illinois State game, um, were, were not good stretches for us as far as uh, we were on our heels. They kind of, you know, were the aggressor, and we can't afford to do that this season. We have to be the aggressor at all times and, and stick to what we do, which is play hard. And um, if we do that, I think we can be successful. With that big shot at the end of the Illinois State game, you kind of had to feel like, okay, now I'm officially back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was a good shot, uh, but I got to give all the, you know, success that I had in Cancun is, is a byproduct of my teammates. Um, you know, everybody is, is working together. It took 15 guys to, to get those two wins. Um, everybody chipped in. Um, those guys are screening for me, screening for DJ, getting us open. Um, Myers is, is a force inside and draws so much attention. Um, that opened that opened things up for us. But it was a complete uh, team team win. Right now we're five and zero because of all 15 guys on our team. It's not one or two guys singled out. Um, but as long as we stick to what we do, which is which is playing hard and, and, and winning the Maddo and stuff like that, I think we can. We can do some things this year. You guys really cut down on the turnovers too. They single digits, four games, nine and yeah. seven. Two previous games you had in the twenties. Talk about how you guys were able to correct that. Coach has been stressing that a lot. Um, he's been stressing, you know, making the easy play, making the easy pass, the A to B pass instead of instead of trying to make the home run play. Um, and I thought we did that. Um, the Richmond game was a low possession game because they slowed it down a little bit and ran their their decent offense. But um, that's good. That's good. That can win and lose you games, especially. You know, into the Big Ten season and down the stretch in, in February and March, taking care of the ball is definitely something that coach has been stretching and something we need to even even improve even more. Were you Maryland out there you know, this week, next week? I mean, certainly uh, it's like a ne the next toughest stretch for you. Guys. Yeah, it is. But we got Chicago State first on Sunday, so um, you know we're not thinking about Maryland right now. We're focused on on Chicago State. Uh, and what we got to do to beat those guys at home. And then, you know, we'll see, you know, Maryland on Tuesday. It'll be a, a big test for us, our first real true road game uh, with opposing fans and, and all kind of kind of things like that. So, uh, but right now we're focused on taking it one day at a time, getting back to the drawing board, learning from our, we're taking both the positives and negatives from Cancun and, and seeing how we can get better and improve. What do you expect to see from Chicago State on Sunday on both ends of the floor? Um, I think they play a little. They play a lot of zone. I think they might the whole 40 minutes actually. Um, they switch it up a little bit. Two three, um, one two two, one three one. Um, athletic team. Um, I think they like to get out and push and transition and stuff like that. So, but it's more so about us and sticking and sticking our principles and doing what we do well, which is which is playing hard, rebounding, and getting out and pushing up the tempo. Saw pictures out there of the, the water basketball game that looked like. Yeah. Were, were you hitting any big shots in the in the water? Nah, those the water basketball was for the bigger guys. I think Myers might have scored every basket and blocked every shot <laughs> in that. If you want to want to count Myers blocks in the water basketball game, he might have over a hundred right now. So, but uh, no, it was a good time and we had some time to relax and stuff and go to the pool and. Um, it was a great trip, and it should definitely pay dividends down the road for us. It's going to be hard for you to get the, beat the post with zones. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, obviously, I think a part of the reason teams play zones, are going to play zones, is because they want to, you know, pack it in and keep it out of his hands and um, prevent him from making plays. But I think the biggest thing to attack in the zone is getting in the middle of the zone, getting to the teeth of the zone, getting the ball moved, um, faking passes to make passes and stuff like that. Um, you got to go inside first. And then we can come back outside. So I think that'll be the criteria for success. You're not afraid to shoot the ball if you have to. No. How, about, how does a tournament championship help you out uh, going forward the rest of the season? Uh, I think it gives us a little bit of a confidence boost. Um, you know, going into going into the tournament, you know, coach really stressed that we haven't won a tournament since 2008. So it was one of our little mini short-term goals um, that we did a good job of accomplishing. Um, now it wasn't easy, obviously. Um, you know, we had two tough games, and the Illinois State game was went right down to the wire. But I thought we, we battled and, and we made the necessary plays that we needed to make and, uh, you know, found a way to win. Coach really, you know, said that after the game that, you know, he's proud of us for finding a way to win. But that's in the past. Now it's time to move on and, and, and keep moving forward. 